Hello everybody, this is Tyler Andrews here with G2DM, and today I'm here to review the Justice League. Let's get into this review. So today I will be giving you guys the positives and the negatives of this movie. Now, because I want to end this video on a positive note, I'd like to start off with the negatives. And there are a lot. So, first thing is, Steppenwolf is super lackluster. The character itself is a good character, and I enjoy him in the comics and in the cartoons. I just, something about him in this live action movie was just super unentertaining and generic. He legit just felt like every single villain ever. He's just trying to destroy the world. It's just, there's nothing original with Steppenwolf. Completely forgettable, and to be honest, I really will not miss him in any of the future movies. Um, another really big negative for me was Cyborg looked like absolute crap. I am sorry. For a good portion of the movie, it just felt like I was looking at a video game. Like, it did not feel real. His CGI could have been so much better, and I'm a huge fan of Cyborg and other media for DC. So it's a huge shame <laughs> that I just did not like the character. Not only was the CGI bad, but just his character was so, no pun intended, robotic. Like, it, there was no character development for him whatsoever. Nothing good about this character. Super unforgettable. Now, the standout star that really surprised me was Ezra Miller as The Flash. I'm not going to lie, I did not expect this good of a performance. Super funny. He was easily the best comic relief of this whole movie. He gave probably the funniest jokes out of everyone. Everyone kind of tried to pitch in on the jokes. I mean, I felt like Batman kind of threw in a couple ones, and Aquaman also tried to be funny, but The Flash was definitely the show's stealer for the jokes. He just was throwing out all these funny one-liners that honestly made me love the character. Also, his version of The Flash is so much cooler than Grant Gustin's. <laughs> like, when he's running through the speed force and, you know, you just see all this, like, blue lightning just surrounding him. It's super cool and it, like, makes the nerd like me just freak out. Super awesome. Aquaman, he was cool. He was kind of similar to Cyborg, just kind of unforgettable and thrown in there. I did like him. I really did feel like he was funny at parts, and I did like the more badass version of him that they kind of gave us. It's a big change from the Aquaman that you're used to from the comics in hell, even like games like an Injustice where he's just this kind of, you know, oh, hey, I'm a good guy, you know, I got a, a sexy face and, you know, nice hair, I, I'm, I'm the king of the world. No, this guy was just, I'm a beer drinking badass son of a gun. He was awesome. I enjoyed him, but he was just so forgettable and thrown in. That's the problem. Batman was awesome. I do like Ben Affleck as Batman. I have no problems with him as Batman. I honestly do feel like he's a good Batman. Um, the only problem with him is he's a lot different from Christian Bale's Batman. Bat his version of Batman didn't kill people. This one does. He kind of breaks the rule that Batman doesn't kill people. Because Ben Affleck's Batman kills people. Not necessarily good guys, but, you know, he still does it. He did it in Batman vs. Superman over and over again. So Wonder Woman was amazing in this movie. She kind of felt a little out of character to me. Like, she didn't feel like the same Wonder Woman that we had in the movie Wonder Woman or even Batman vs. Superman. But I still did like the character, and Gal Gadot does play probably the best Wonder Woman I've ever seen. Granted, I haven't seen very many live iterations of Wonder Woman, so I mean, I can't say, oh, I can compare her to like three other movies. No, she's this is she's basically the first, other than that, like, the, the one that played in that classic TV series that no one knew. Um, another character that I didn't think was really necessary, Superman. I mean, <laughs> you would think, like, he's a very vital part of the Justice League in any me other media, the comics, the cartoons, anything that has to do with the Justice League. You see Superman and Batman. He just felt so incredibly thrown in. Now, this is a non-spoiler review, so I'm not going to give away anything about him. But I do want to keep it at no, he does not have his cool black suit, and he uh, doesn't have like a sweet mullet or anything. He just comes back as normal Superman. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler, but it's just something I feel like um, needs to be said. So, he's really, there's nothing special with his character. I did feel like there wasn't any development. I do like Henry Cavill as an actor, I just don't think he plays a very good Superman. I didn't like him in Man of Steel, I didn't like him in Batman vs. Superman, and in this movie particularly, he just felt thrown in. I didn't think he was necessary at all. The plot itself was really messy. Like, at, at most points, there were just so many holes. Like, they, they do this, and they'd expect you to know it. But if you do not read the comics, and if you've just been watching the movies, they never explained it. Like, there are several points in this movie where you're watching it, and you're just like, 
um, when did this happen? Like, why, why are we supposed to know this? We don't know why this is happening because we've never seen it before. So that's kind of just one of those things, it's just everywhere. Like, another little just nitpick of mine was Joss Sweden did have a little bit of touch on this, and it is sadly sticking out. There are parts where I can be like, oh, this is Joss Sweden's work. And that's a big shame because it's just a lot different. Zack Snyder, he can do comedy, and it is showed with The Flash. But Joss Sweden's type of humor, it sticks out. And there are times where I'm just like, mm-hmm, that was a reshoot. Now, getting away from the plot, as a movie in a whole, eh, it was okay. Um, it, it was the same characters you know and love, so if you liked Batman and Batman vs. Superman, you got that exact same Batman. We, there was just nothing surprising. It, it felt like a movie that was just predictable. Like, you just knew... This is going to happen, and here's why. You knew what was going to happen. There was just nothing unpredictable about it. Um, it in, in all, it was lackluster. I, I think it could have been better. And, and the fight scenes were completely badass. Like, there were parts in this movie that I actually wish weren't in the trailer, because, like, they were so cool, and the trailer just gave them away. <laughs> um, but the fight scenes were awesome. Everything with action was good. It was so much better than Batman vs. Superman in terms of action. You got a lot more of that. That is something I definitely love. You didn't get as much of this boring, you know, political nonsense. You got action, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, in all, this movie was lackluster. I feel like the plot was really messy. The action scenes were good, which makes up for it, but people like Aquaman and Cyborg were just completely thrown in. This didn't feel like the Justice League. It, it, it felt like Batman, Wonder Woman, and The Flash with those two other guys in the background. That's, that's kind of what it felt like to me. And, you, you know, you sprinkle in a little Superman here and there, and that's kind of what you get. So, in general, this movie has some good twists and turns, but I felt like the plot was lackluster, the CGI was pretty bad, and in all, I don't think it's a great movie. I think in a fan's point of view, like mine, I'm a fan. As a fan, I like this movie. I felt like it brought some nostalgia from the comics and I did enjoy it. But as a reviewer, it was lackluster. It could have been better. And I hope DC builds upon this. I really do. And I, I hope they continue the DCU with Ben Affleck as Batman and do the Batman solo film and the Flash solo film with Ezra Miller. In all, I think this movie was just lackluster. So in all, I'd have to give this movie a 5 out of 10. It was okay. Wasn't good. Wasn't bad. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.